Greetings, friends. President Biden is finally keeping his campaign promise to help the American people. Chuck Schumer and Joe Manchin have agreed to vote on another relief bill. This will mean more aid will be approved for Americans very soon. Friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video for all these details. I will also be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the next giveaway, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. This is not a model America should embrace. We succeed when we reward hard work, creative thinking, risk taking, and innovation, and ensure that a company's success isn't contingent on the approval, direction, or spending by the federal government. I support making chips in the United States, but we cannot lead a new era of innovation through massive government subsidies. We cannot beat China by trying to outspend them. The chips bill unlocks the Democrats' radical tax and spending spree and will make President Biden's inflation crisis worse. American competitiveness is suffering today as a result of harmful regulatory barriers and record government spending. This has resulted in unaffordable high prices on every family, supply chain issues, and as we learned today, the U.S. is entering a recession. Meanwhile, Democrats' new reconciliation package spends hundreds of billions of dollars and raises taxes to achieve their grand socialist agenda for more control and more inflation. To win the future, we need a reliable regulatory and permitting environment that unleashes innovation, secures our supply chains, and ensures American companies are creating jobs right here at home in the United States of America. Instead of more radical spending, lifting these barriers must be central if we want to secure American leadership and beat China. I urge a no vote. So dear friends, here is the good news. Thousands of Americans can apply for a 12-month guaranteed income pilot program that will pay $6,000. But time is running out. Through a partnership with mayors for a guaranteed income program, Mount Vernon, New York will send $500 monthly payments to eligible residents for one year. The pilot program, which is called Level Up, will send cash to select Mount Vernon residents while simultaneously studying the effects of extra income. To participate, households must earn at least $15,000 a year. Income caps vary by household size, but families must make less than 80% of a county's average income to qualify. For a household of four, the limit is $90,000. Eligible residents can apply online until August 5, 2022. There will also be physical locations around the city where residents will be able to apply. After the window closes, eligible applicants will be randomly selected to participate in the Universal Basic Income Pilot Program. The city expects to notify individuals by the end of August. However, the timeline is subject to change. Payments will come with no strings attached, and participants are free to spend the money however they like. Participants will be paid through a preloaded debit card, so a bank account is not necessary to apply. The program will cost $1.2 million, and all of the funding will come from the American Rescue Plan, which earmarked $41 million for relief in Mount Vernon. Also, friends, President Biden's campaign trail promise to increase taxes on corporations and the wealthy, got an unexpected boost today. This is part of a battle against income inequality in the United States. Early proposals to increase tax rates from President Biden and his fellow Democrats hit a brick wall in Congress. That came after Republicans and some Democrats opposed the move. But a sudden reversal by West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, a swing vote in the divided Senate, has jump-started Biden's tax agenda. The amount U.S. companies contribute to tax revenue that funds roads and schools has plummeted since the 1940s. Biden often said in office that companies should instead 
pay a fair share. That is a contrast to deference to private markets, which begun by Republicans with former President Ronald Reagan's election in 1980. So according to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, the new compromise bill includes $430 billion in new spending on energy, electric vehicle tax credits, and health insurance investments. It more than pays for itself by raising minimum taxes for big companies and enforcing existing tax laws. Today, Biden said during a speech on that deal, it would be for the first time in a long time, begin to restore fairness to the tax code and begin to restore fairness by making the largest corporations in America pay their fair share without any new taxes on people earning under $400,000 a year. So friends, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think President Biden's tax proposal is a good idea? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Friends, the keyword for this video is Alberta, Canada. If you would like to enter the next Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Alberta, Canada, and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Friends, remember that the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. The bill would also impose a 15% minimum tax on corporations with profits over $1 billion, raising $313 billion over a decade. Companies could claim net operating losses and tax credits against the 15%. The U.S. corporate tax rate dropped to 21% from 35% after a 2017 tax cut. But many companies pay much less than that, and some of the largest pay no federal taxes. President Biden proposed raising that rate to 28% last year as part of an infrastructure spending bill. But the tax component was struck from the bill. Well, my beautiful and awesome friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you once again for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Thursday.